The brisk fall air has moved in. School shops have dug into their sessions, and the New England Patriots are on their way to another winning season. But it wasn't that way when the Mass Cruisers engine build-off competition took place at Patriots Place in Foxborough back in June. Six teams, 12 students, highly skilled at engine repair, went head-to-head, -head, each team tasked with breaking down a Briggs & Stratton engine, like the engine often found in go-karts such as this, and putting it back together in working condition. What follows are highlights from the competition, a fascinating glimpse into the amazing field of talented students coming out of today's vocational tech and agricultural high schools. The quality of the teams that we got here today were phenomenal. They were young kids, different ages. To see them not only take an engine apart that some of them hadn't seen before, but to diagnose some of the problems. I mean, it isn't always the engine that starts first, it's got to run properly. Some of the engines started early but had a, an idling problem, which would be something in the governor. Uh, one had a gasket leak. It's a team that stuck together and um, let their nerves calm down a little bit back up a step, quit looking at the other teams, do your job, do what you know how to do. And not only were they judged on being able to take a running engine all the way down to the crank, taking the camshaft out, the valves out and everything, they were judged on their mechanical ability, their cleanliness, and uh, how they actually carried themselves. Because to be fair to these people that are in the contest today, we want to be honest with them. What's it going to take to um, compete in the field. And it isn't always the guy who gets the engine running first. Do I want him working on my car? Did he do it properly? Did he present himself well? How did they diagnose the, uh, the no-start issue? So all of those things today really come out with these kids and they did an awesome job. Last year, uh, the president, Ed Beatty, said we should do something different for our annual auto show in August, and he thought of some sort of a build-off, because that was real popular in reality TVs, shows, and uh, he came up with that idea, and I was talking with another member, Mark Light, who said that it's a good idea, but we couldn't really do anything directly automotive. Engines for cars are too big, too heavy to work with, and too dangerous. So he said, let me give us some thought. Then he came up with an idea of not only do a small engine, uh, such as a lawnmower engine. That way there it's easy to, to handle, they can pick it up, they can move it around, and you wouldn't have any problems with people getting hurt with a, with a heavy engine. So I said, that's a great idea. It was uh, nice to see a good turnout from the spectators. We had uh, three teams from Blue Hill Regional uh, Technical School out of Canton, Mass, and we had three teams from Norfolk Agricultural School out of Walpole, Mass. There's a lot of emphasis on athletic uh, programs and a lot of like these uh, shop students, they don't get a lot of recognition because there's not much places they can go to showcase their, showcase their talents. This gives them an opportunity to come out, show what the school's about, give these students that work with their hands a chance to show what they can do and actually have a competition. So it's really a good for the school to benefit their programs. The students work in a nice professional manner and. They, they did a very nice job and uh, very happy the way it turned out. Tune in and subscribe for more automotive news features from RPM News Weekly. I'm your host, Rich Tabor.
Thank you for watching.